A new show opened in Vancouver today by an artist you may be familiar with if you're a regular viewer of global newscasts. Her name is Felicity Dawn, and her work has been featured here a number of times along with her name. But unlike today's program, her paintings have never been the story. Linda Aylesworth explains. Well, that was the first day of the trial. For the last two decades, Felicity Dawn has been sitting in on some of BC's most notorious court cases. And here's uh, Bertuzzi in court defending himself. And there's him beating up more. Felicity is perhaps best known as a courtroom artist. Sometimes she gets as little as 30 seconds to capture her subject's image. Surprisingly, that's one of the things she loves about her job. I like the, the sort of the storytelling that goes on. I like to hear everything that's going on. I like uh, the pressure, uh, the fact that people are expecting something out of me and I've got to perform or else. Don't ask me why I like that. But she also likes drawing for herself. Every Friday, she travels to the Carnegie Center in the downtown east side to sketch portraits of the people who live there. This is old Fred, and I really love old Fred. He's gone now. He has gone into a home. But he used to uh, work his way every day down from his little house in Strathcona down to the Carnegie Center and sit and have something to eat. Felicity asks her subjects for 25 minutes of their time in return for food vouchers. She was hanging out at the Carnegie Center, and uh, she is a drug addict from Hastings in Maine, and uh, there's no avoiding getting the, the, the very rough, uh, struggling uh, uh, look in her face. Surviving here in the poorest community in Canada can be a struggle. Capturing it on paper is a challenge Felicity can't resist. I like drawing them because I love to draw anything that, that um, visually excites me. And I find it visually exciting because their clothing is so interesting and their faces are quite, they wear their, their lives on their faces in a way. In many of Felicity's works, there's a softness that emerges in spite of the hardship. But in others, there's no disguising the brutal reality of what a life on the streets can do to a soul. Well, she's one tough cookie, I gotta tell you. She's one tough cookie. I, I think I've got captured the same look in her eyes, that kind of threatening look, as I did in the, uh, in the, in the, in the dog's eyes. Felicity says she sketches these people purely for the love of art. But being human, as well as an artist, she can't help but feel for them. I love them and I wish that their lives could be better, but there's nothing I can do. And in the end, you have to reach the bottom and pull yourself up. And um, so what I feel is I wish them the best. 